Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna go grill some veggie kebabs. They are super easy to make, and I'm gonna share with you how I skewer, how I chop them, how long does it take, all the good stuff. Let's get started. So my veggie kebabs today are going to be built with some zucchini, peppers, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and onion, just keeping it classic and simple. But the first thing we wanna do is prep our veggies. The zucchini, I'm going to first trim off my ends right here. And then we want to cut our zucchinis about the same thickness as other vegetables so everything cooks evenly. So I like to do them about, I don't know, a little under an inch thick like that. Now you can make veggie kebabs with your favorite vegetables, eggplants, squash, so many other things. The trick is to cut them into even sized pieces so they cook evenly. Red onion is always a tricky one. Everybody always wants to know how thick, how do you cut it, how do I poke it, slice it through. So I just cut my onion in half, save that for later. And then into large quarters like this, and then into thirds. This way I can start crying, I'm just kidding. This way I can just simply take half of this and skewer a few pieces of onion right through my skewer. And then my bell pepper, give or take the same size, I already halved it, so I'm gonna cut it into squared or so pieces, nice large chunks so they stay put in my skewers. Now you could take all the veggies and place them in a zip bag and marinate them, but today I'm just simply going to brush on this veggie kebab marinade that I've already made, and I'll show you how I make that in another video, I'll link that below for you. So we're gonna make them super quick. Here I have some wooden skewers that I've, they've been soaking for 30 minutes or so. I place them on a sheet pan, poured water on top, and I have them ready on the side to thread my veggies through. What you wanna do is take your veggie skewer and thread your veggies right through the middle. So right through the middle of the skewer and layer a few pieces of each vegetable right through. Doesn't really matter what order you put your veggies through, just make sure to leave about an inch on each side so that you can pick up your skewers. Best way to prevent your veggies from falling off the skewer is to make sure that you're always trying to poke them right through the center of the veggie itself so it holds on to the skewer. All right, so now that I have all my veggie kebabs assembled real quick, I'm going to place them on my baking sheet so I can bring them outside. But first, I am going to take my veggie marinade and brush it very generously over the top of my veggie kebabs. This infuses my kebabs with flavor, but also the olive oil helps my veggies prevent them from sticking on the grill. So it's really important that you preheat the grill first before placing the veggies on top. You wanna place them on a hot grill. I like to preheat my grill to medium high heat. That's about 375, more or less on average, if your grill has a gauge and you wanna preheat it with the lid closed. Now you wanna brush the marinade on both sides. Make sure everything's nicely coated. All I have to do now is take them outside. Let's go. Now, most grills need to be greased a little bit. You can do this with some vegetable or olive oil once the grill is hot. You'll see that I'm placing the kebabs directly on the grill with the lid open. That's because I want to sear the outsides. And then after five minutes or so, I'm going to close the lid and let them cook. Halfway through the cooking time, I'm going to flip them over by using some large tongs and then close your lid again to retain the heat inside of your grill and wait the other half of the cooking time for your skewers to be ready. So little by little, I'm removing all of my skewers off the grill onto my baking sheet, cover them in foil, and let's bring them inside. All right guys, let's check out these vegetable kebabs. They are perfectly cooked. They're all still intact in our skewer with those char marks we love. Grab the recipe below, and if you're into grilling, check out this next video. See you next time.